Fantastic achievement. You want to try and make sure that you leave it out there on court come Sunday afternoon. Tournament director Michael Stick. He's enjoying the sunshine as well. Yeah, he's done a good job this week in difficult conditions. <laughs> From the champion here as well. Knows what it takes to win on a Sunday afternoon. Going to be important for Davidenko to serve well. It's been a feature of his play throughout the tournament, really. We know he's a great returner, but served strongly this week, too. We know all about his capabilities on this surface. 14 titles, seven of those coming on clay. Twice a semi-finalist at Roland Garros. Yeah, his record in finals is impressive. 114, lost five. of power from the Russian and that's a feature of his game now normally players under this much pressure would be looking to defend perhaps hit a high shot at nice and deep give themselves time to recover but not Davidenko he's quite happy pulling the trigger from wide of the single sideline does take opponents by surprise that was a phenomenal forehand These guys playing finals for the first time this year, so they're bound to be a few nerves. It's natural for any player at any level, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't matter how much success you've had previously. Everybody likes being able to hold the trophy at the end of the week, and it's uh, vital for these guys to build up confidence before heading over to the States for the North American hard court swing and run up to the US Open. from the American hardcore swing now. The next ATP World Tour 500 event is in Washington. Just a week tomorrow. Exactly the same amount of damage with the forehand as well when he's uh, nice and confident. Good footwork here. He realized that the Davidenko return had dropped a little short, so he stepped inside the baseline. Gave the Russian very little time to recover and get back to the middle of the court. Davidenko's many strengths. Yeah, it's unusual to see him go inside out. And that's why I think Mathieu really struggled. Uh, his racket anywhere near the ball. It was very late reacting. He was expecting it to come down the line. Turnaround to his year, Mathieu, this tournament in Hamburg.
before arriving. He hadn't won two consecutive matches since Roland Garros. Now he's in the final. opening set. Yeah, good start by both. I think first and foremost, you've got to try and hold serve initially in the big matches. Helps settle the nerves. You might think, well, these two guys have played so much tennis at the highest level, there's no way they're going to be nervous. Uh, but of course, they both will be. Because it's a big occasion when you're in the final of an ATP Tour 500 series event. The best way to help settle those nerves is to really feel like you're involved in the match and by holding your early service games, that's exactly what will happen. And of course, the more secure you are in your own service games, the more freely you can swing when returning. So it gives you a better opportunity to break, the better you're serving. Biggest stadium court in Germany, in fact, holds 12,713 fans. Excellent crowd for today's final. He does have problems with his second serve. It's undoubtedly the weakest shot in his armory. A couple of seasons ago, an absolute nightmare. Lost his rhythm completely. Served a whole host of double faults towards the tail end of the season. And he's looking directly into the sun that end of the course. He has decided to go for the baseball cap today. Case had that on the last couple of days. It's the first time we've seen the sun the last couple of days. Simple as that. They played all their other matches uh, under the roof. So it might take them a while just to get used to uh, battling the elements this afternoon. kilometers an hour again taking the ball very very early Team Lagardère. Oh, this is a bit of a turn up, perhaps. Well, he's starting where he left off in the semi finals. Uh, the second and third sets were outstanding. Just that little wobble in the deciding set when he led 5 1, got a little tight, but from 5 all, he rectified the situation very quickly. 
And uh, Davidenko there guilty of not quite doing enough with the approach shot.